Hey there. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can easily set up ExpressVPN or any other VPN for that matter on your Fire Stick. Now, keep in mind that all three VPNs here will work with all versions of Fire TV, but if you're going with the Fire TV Stick, only the second generation and above will be compatible with VPNs. So for the sake of the example, we're going to go with ExpressVPN. All you have to do is download and install the application itself. You can save it into your remote or just type ExpressVPN on your Fire Stick store and ExpressVPN will show up. By the way, if you're interested in learning about these VPNs, you'll find full reviews below and I'll be sure to leave some discounts if I happen to find any. That'll help you save a little bit more money if you end up getting any of them. So once you've selected the VPN, be it Express, Nord, or Surfshark, you'll be able to download it onto your device. And from there, just log in with your credentials. You can log in with a QR code or a code or a remote. And once you're in the VPN itself, you can simply turn it on. And if, for example, you connect to an American server, you'll get access to American content. So that'll be American Netflix, American Amazon Prime Video, American Disney Plus. You'll also get access to Hulu if you don't have access to Hulu and you're abroad, since Hulu is only available in the States. And if you are in the States and you're looking for, let's say, content that's outside the States, a VPN is also a great way to, for example, watch Friends, the sitcom, which doesn't seem to be available in the American library of Netflix, but it is available in, for example, the UK library. Now, inside the application on your Fire Stick, it's very very simple, very straightforward. There's this on and off button and you can click on the servers and select which server you want to go with. As far as the settings, there's not much to really mess with. There's advanced protection, which I recommend turning on specifically for the trackers and malicious sites as well as ads part. And besides that, you have the network protection and split tunneling as well as a bunch of protocols. I recommend staying on automatic or lightweight UDP if you want to always make sure that you're going for the fastest protocol option. So that'll be it for for this video as far as which VPN to go for they all work great when it comes to accessing streaming services um, be it Express Nord or Surfshark but it all depends on what you're specifically looking for I would go with Express if you just want the easiest option to use and it's got up to 105 countries so that's plenty of countries to choose from as opposed to NordVPN's 111 countries if you prefer having even more countries and a bunch of bonus features that can be very useful in a handful of situations. So for NordVPN, even though you might feel like there's a little bit of a learning curve here, once you use all these features once, you'll basically be set to use the whole thing very efficiently. Now with Surfshark, it'll be the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost. You get all the premium features from more expensive VPNs like Express and Nord, so you'll be able to stream very consistently and the speeds will also be almost on par with Express and Nord, so very close. You've got 100 countries, so that's still a huge amount that most VPNs don't really have, as opposed to, again, ExpressVPN's 105 and NordVPN's 111 countries. Virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one subscription, which makes it a great option if you're looking for a VPN that you can just share with friends and family. And again, all these are fully compatible on the Fire Stick as well as Fire TV. So if you guys are interested in any of these, again, I'll be sure to link the best discounts that I can find in the description below, as well as the reviews if you want to just learn a little bit more before making the final purchase. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.